Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday. And I'm Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, I don't know about you, but I hate making mistakes. I mean, I, I do it all the time and, and I grieve that because I really agonize over failure. Uh, that's why as a child, I was very compliant. I, I pretty much did what my parents said most of the time, okay? And I, I, got, I, I did well in school. I didn't get in trouble at school because I didn't want to get in trouble at home. And, and honestly, I hated receiving correction. When I made a mistake, when I messed up, I hated that rebuke that came, whether it was parents or teachers or someone telling me I did it wrong, even coaches. Uh, I just hated being told I was wrong. And then I started reading the Bible. And, and Proverbs chapter 9 has this to say about correction. Whoever corrects a scoffer gets himself abuse. And he who reproves a wicked man incurs injury. Do not reprove a scoffer or he will hate you, but reprove a wise man and he will love you. Give instruction to a wise man and he will be wiser still. Teach a righteous man and he will increase in learning. See, I read that and it was life changing because I want to be wise. So I learned how to receive a rebuke. I learned how to listen to it and learn from it. And here's the thing, it didn't have to be 100% accurate. It, it, even if it's only 2% accurate, that 2% can help me get better if I can distill it out and, and take that part of it and apply it to my life. And, and, and if you're gonna do that, it means you can't get defensive when somebody comes to you with correction or rebuke. And, and if you do that, you're gonna grow in wisdom because you're gonna learn even from the people who don't like you. Now, uh, not only did I learn a little bit about receiving a rebuke, but can I just be honest? This passage of Proverbs instructs me on how I evaluate the maturity of other people. See, I, I don't evaluate people's spiritual maturity by how much they know of the Bible. Uh, I tend to evaluate it by, you know, how they treat other people and how they receive a rebuke. This is kind of an unfair, uh, you know, advantage because, listen to what it says, whoever corrects a scoffer gets himself abuse. He who reproves a wicked man incurs injury. Don't reprove a scoffer or he will hate you. But reprove a wise man and he will love you. See, the way people respond to correction tells you a lot about where their heart is and where it's going. And I've offered some correction to people who got really angry at me and left the church and and just walked away, and I grieved that because I saw where their life was going. What I really love is when you lovingly share a correction with somebody, and they receive it, and you see them apply it to their life and grow wiser. So I'm trying to do that. I encourage you to try to do that, because if we choose wisdom, it'll bless our life. But to choose wisdom means that you're going to decide that you're going to respond well when a rebuke or when correction comes your way. But if you do that, you'll grow wiser still. I hope that helps. And I hope that if a rebuke comes your way this week, you'll learn something from it. God bless and have a great day.